good Josh your boy Ross back at again with another video so I wanted to make this uh, commentary style video to talk about my uh, thoughts and opinions on Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WWE day one the first pay-per-view of the new year and um, I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not as excited as I probably should be do I think it will be an enjoyable match? Yes, I do, but I'm just not really that hyped for it. And I'm going to list the reasons why I'm not as hyped as I should be for it. First things first, the way they got to this match was very convoluted. I know they had a battle royale, over-the-top battle royale, where it seemingly looked like Jeff Hardy had won the match, but ultimately... Sami Zayn used some heel-like tactics and was able to uh, win the match overall. And he was supposed to be the number one contender for Roman Reigns' uh, title. Then, they announced Brock's suspension has been lifted, obviously, and he'll be appearing uh, on SmackDown. So, he shows up on SmackDown. Uh, I want to say, yeah, he shows up last week on SmackDown. And he's basically about to address Roman and Sami Zayn comes out there. And he bullies Sami Zayn into using his opportunity to face Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Then later on in the show, as Sami Zayn comes out there to get ready for his match, Brock Lesnar proceeds to beat the crap out of him. Beats the crap out of him. Then Roman comes out there and pretty much, um, I want to say... Finished the scraps. It, it wasn't much. He ends up tapping out Sami Zayn. It, I mean, after he's already received F5s and suplexes, it wasn't much for him to have to do anyway. Now, I wasn't even watching SmackDown at the time, but um, one of the one of the subscribers was telling me what was going on, and basically, they were just showing promo packages um, for Monday Night Raw until like four minutes before the show was going to go off. I'm like, yo, what the the hell is th i'm glad i didn't watch that that's that's kind of lame that's kind of trashy so i'm glad i didn't watch none of that but ultimately he, brock lesnar did that to get a one-on-one -on -one match with roman reigns at wwe day one here's the thing about continuity it it, it helps build a show it helps keep it together to keep it concise it helps you you know suspend your disbelief I'm just trying to figure out how someone could literally attack management, attack officials, pay a fine, come back from suspension, only to wreak havoc in the main event scene and nobody do anything. No one saved Sammy. He was just out there to fend for himself and then he gets a title opportunity at the beginning of the year, just like that. Stuff like that you pick up on sometimes we as wrestling fans we let it slide because we know the, it's it's for a better match like with the john cena thing you can say the same thing john cena came back and ended up just facing roman but we know the story behind that and we know why that was to happen and that was going to be the better match for SummerSlam. john cena didn't really have to do anything and i get it but in this situation it's one of those things where it's like it's kind of blatant because like, yo, he just destroyed people not too long ago. And now he's back in the main event scene. Now, not to say that Brock wasn't going to be in the main event scene once again, because it's Brock Lesnar, but it's the way he got there. What was the point of having the Battle Royal tournament? The Battle Royal, uh, uh, Battle Royal match, the over the top Battle Royal. Tell me, what was the point in that? If ultimately Brock was going to be the guy to face Roman on the very first pay-per-view of the year, Tell me what was the point. If someone can legitimately tell me what was the point of that whole battle royal, I would literally be very surprised if you could make it make sense. Because you can't make that make sense for me personally. So, once that happened, it was a pretty much a done deal. Um, once he came back and how they booked it and how they set it up, it was a done deal that this was the route that they wanted to go. It kind of sucks because I was really hoping Jeff gets his opportunity at Roman before Brock came back 
just to really you know have a, a fresh new matchup i think that would have been a cool fresh matchup for wwe day one comment down below let me know if you guys would have been okay with roman versus jeff at for the first pay-per-view of the year something fresh or something different comment down below let me know but um yeah I, I, for me personally it's just like okay we're going with this match this is the match they want to go with there's reports saying this is not going to be the only match they have. There's going to be a series of matches uh, potentially with them. So I'm, I'm willing to guess they will have another one. They will be facing off against each other at WrestleMania uh, the, uh, next year. And I, I do believe, I think they're going to try to get Drew McIntyre into the mix. So it will be a triple threat match. But here's the thing. The issue that I'm having with this is I don't want to see Roman beat Brock again but he has to cheat to win that i don't want to see i don't if he's not winning clean then there's no point but i get it they're trying to extend the feud so there's a good chance he's gonna win by cheating that's that's the way they're booking it. he's he's not dropping the title at the first of the year he's not dropping it so and they're not gonna have brock lesnar lose clean which i think they should because that would help Roman. So it's like if he Brock's not losing clean, Roman's not winning clean, or is he losing the match? So they're gonna have him cheat to win again, which will prompt maybe Brock to enter into the Royal Rumble to try to face him again. And then what they do then? What they do then? If they do involve Drew, Drew will probably eat the pin. And then it's just like okay, so he's gotten like three opportunities three opportunities he still lost all three times like i i get it they want to keep brock looking strong but brock can take a clean loss to roman there's nothing wrong with that especially this version of roman that's all i'm saying man I, it's just it feels redundant it feels like the same thing we just saw at uh crown jewel so we're gonna see the same thing here like i don't i, don't, I honestly don't want to see that will i be entertained sure but it's, it's going to be like, yeah, for the first match of the year, they, it could have been something fresh, something new. It's a new year. I, I, I don't, I'm not as interested in seeing Brock versus Roman because I, I have a feeling it's going to probably end the same way with Roman cheating to win in order for them to keep this feud going. He may go, uh, Brock will probably enter in the Royal Rumble. I could see Brock winning the Royal Rumble, facing Roman again. And I'd still see Roman retaining. I don't, I would be so shocked if they had Roman drop anytime soon. I'm just being honest, especially the Brock because it doesn't, him, he needs, Roman needs the belt. It all, his gimmick only works right now if he is the champion. He needs that title still. It's just they need to build up other opponents outside of Brock Lesnar for Roman to legitimately face and that we can buy into that maybe he can do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on that. I know somebody may comment, oh, wrestling fans are never satisfied. And to an extent, you're right. But I'm I'm going I'm to give my opinion on certain stuff. And my opinion on this upcoming match is I'm not really too enthused about it. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> And it, I, I should be. I do think it will be enjoyable, but I'm not as excited to see this match again, knowing that it's probably going to end the same way. Now, if he wins clean, then that's awesome. That's cool. Sign me up. If he doesn't win clean, then it is what it is. Um, and then we'll probably see them go at it once again at WrestleMania. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys excited for this match at day one? Or are you guys kind of indifferent? You think it should be somebody else? And who do you think would be a better opponent for Roman to face at WWE Day 1 if you had the option to choose? If you're not really excited for the Brock Lesnar uh, match, uh, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, again, match for WWE Day 1. But I appreciate all the love and support. Row 2, 70K, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.